Hey, good morning, Facebook family. Good morning, Potter's House family. Hey, Elder Fred Cantu, my lovely wife, Denise. We're here to share with you. It's Thursday. It's time to hear an uplifting word, an uplifting message, a word of encouragement, a word of empowerment to just to just to surround us and envelop us with the very presence of God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. It's so it's a good day to serve the Lord today. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 All right, well, let's pray and then we'll get right into the word. So, Father, we do, we thank you as yes, we come Lord. together in your yes, mighty name. Jesus. We honor you, we praise you, yes, we give God. you all glory. And Lord, even as we partake in this word today, Father, let it go forth and accomplish all that it mm -hmm. is meant to accomplish, mm -hmm. Lord. Father, we thank you, yes. yet your word does not return void. So, Lord, we thank you, Father, as thank we you, go Lord. forth this day, we go forth in the fullness of who you created us to be, Lord. And we just give you honor and we give you all the praise in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Again, it is Thursday. It's uh, time for a word of encouragement. And I just want to share with you uh, just an impression that God has placed on my heart. It, it's a, it's a, um, a word that is, uh, has been stirring, but it's God uh, that many are called, but few are chosen. But you are a chosen generation. God has chosen you, and it's, and it's in Scripture from, from the Old Testament to the New Testament. We see that God spoke to Abram. He chose him. He called him, and he chose him to go into another region and to, to, and to occupy that place. He was mm -hmm. called, and then he, he, God chose him. So as we look at through these Scriptures uh, today that you're going to see that it, that God has chosen us, mm -hmm. and it's it's it's, it's not just because of who, what title we have. It's because it's for the purpose of the kingdom of God, for the advancement of God's kingdom. Mm -hmm. You know, you may think, well, I'm just so and so, or I, I don't know much about this. You know what? Gideon thought the same mm -hmm. way. He said, Amen. you know, I'm the least of my tribe. I'm the weakest of my tribe, and I'm the least of my family. But God changed his perspective. He says, you mighty man of valor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, God knows what Amen. he's doing. Yes, he's, he, he goes and he, he calls us. And, and he, then he tells us, I am choosing you out of all of who he mm. could have chosen. He chose you. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. That yes. should be good news. Amen. Because God you, is, has a plan yes. and he has a purpose for each and every one of us. He doesn't make mistakes he knows what he's doing because he's he, you're Amen. a part of the Hallelujah. big plan of the grander picture mm -hmm. of what God is about to do. Amen. Amen. Hey, I feel just Hallelujah. stirred up just by saying that right there because I know what God mm -hmm. is doing Amen. for for us as a, as a body, as, as a believers. I say that because he's moving and advancing the kingdom of God. And he needs you and he needs me to get on board. Even though we may feel like, oh, I don't know what part I've done that. I've said mm -hmm. that before. My wife can attest to that. But God just, he says, just I've chosen you because I've, I've called you from a mm -hmm. different place. And he's Amen. taken us out of a place. Maybe yes. it's a place of hardship. Maybe it's a place of despair. Because he's calling you out of that place. He's mm -hmm. chosen mm -hmm. you. He's hand selected you for this yes, time amen. and for this moment. Hallelujah. So in the, uh, you know, in uh, Isaiah 43, I'm going to just start firing off my scriptures now. Isaiah 43 verse 10 says this. It says, you are my witnesses, mm -hmm. says the Lord. Amen. And my servants whom I have chosen. <laughs> There's that word chosen mm -hmm. already. Amen. That you may know and, and believe me and understand that I am he before he before me there is no God formed nor shall there be after me mm -hmm. hallelujah hallelujah there's no there's no one else that can mm -hmm. compare to Amen. the God that we serve hallelujah. so when he's calling you mm -hmm. and he says not only he's chosen you he's chosen you out of all of who he could select yes, from. Amen. You know, maybe you're not that in that place of, uh, of leadership, but you're a leader in your home. You're a leader to your family. You're a leader in yourself because amen. of because God has chosen you. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, amen. Matthew 22, 14, this is where this verse came from. It's, it, it talks about the wedding feast. You can read that later. That the invitations went out. Mm -hmm. Many are called. But then few are chosen. And that's the verse that, that stuck to me is that many are called, but few are chosen. 
And God has called so many that has refused or has either turned their backs or made excuses of why they can't come to sit at a banquet table that has already been prepared. Mm -hmm. You know, if somebody invited me to a barbecue and said, Fred, you didn't have to bring anything. All you need to bring, (laughs) just come. I got a place for you. Man, I would be there because that's a that's an <laughs> opportunity. And God yes. has given us Hallelujah. this grand opportunity that mm-hmm. he's prepared a banquet table. Amen. You know, in Psalms 23, it says that he's prepared a table in the presence of my enemies. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My enemies aren't sitting at that table. He's just showing and putting on full display to my enemies of what he has gifted yes. me, what he has Hallelujah. instilled in me, what he's presented Amen. to me, what is offered to me. And he's saying that I've given you an opportunity to come and mm-hmm. sit at the banquet table. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God has given that invitation, but we see in that portion of scripture, many are made, made, uh, made excuses or Mm -hmm. had other things that they had to do and they just didn't come. So he told his servants, I'm just kind of going through. He told his servants, he says, and go to the highways and the byways Mm -hmm. and call all those. Mm -hmm. And you are the, all those that have come and have this written invitation to sit. Many are called, but few are chosen, Mm -hmm. and you are that chosen one. John 15, 16 says this. It says, you did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed Mm -hmm. you that you should go and bear fruit. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Imagine that. I didn't choose God. God chose me. Mm Mm-hmm. He was just waiting for me to get out of my own self in order to come into alignment with what he had, the calling that he called me for. He's chosen me. Mm -hmm. And he says that now I have chosen you, I'm going to appoint you and that you shall bear fruit. And it just doesn't stop there because it goes on. It Mm -hmm. says, and that that your fruit shall remain. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. What we do here in the earth, what we do in our time here in this, in this moment is this blink of an eye of time that we have is planting a seed that will be everlasting because when we have the word of God, mm-hmm. it doesn't, it says heaven and earth will pass away, but my word yes. shall not pass Amen. away. What we have inside Amen. of us is the word of God. Mm-hmm. And when we speak and interact Bye-bye. with people, we're sharing the word Bye-bye. with them. We're planting the seed. Thank we're planting you, an everlasting life mm-hmm. that is never going to be destroyed. God has chosen you Amen. to carry Amen. on this opportunity. Amen. And that, and I'm so thankful that God is using even myself mm-hmm. as, a, as an opportunity to share the good news. I'm going to keep going. Now, Ephesians 1, 4 tells us this. I, I don't have all my scriptures marked out. I got to flip through my Bible. So that's a good thing because it gets us familiar with where our scriptures are at. But Ephesians chapter one, it says, just as, just as he chose us in him before the foundations of the world that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. There we see God has chosen us before the foundations of the world. Amen. You have already been predestined. It goes on to tell, say that we are predestined. We've already been pre-arranged, pre-appointed uh, 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 to carry out the assignments of what God has called us to do, Mm -hmm. you know? And so as we look at these portions of scripture, you know, you may think, well, I got so much to this and I got, you know, we can, don't be the the individuals in the wedding feast where we're making excuses. Mm -hmm. Just be the one that says, God, you're calling, here I am, send me. And as we go forth today, just be encouraged that God has chosen you. He's not, he's not overlooked you. He's chosen you. And he wants to continue to just use you as opportunities arise. You know, it says in, uh, in, um, in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, it says uh, in chapter 1, verse uh, 27. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 27. It says this. It's, it says, God has chosen the foolish things of the world to put to shame the wise. And God has chosen the weak things of the world to put to shame the things which are mighty. Hallelujah. If you're making an excuse saying, well, who am I? I can't compare. 
It's not about comparing. Mm -hmm. It's just about stepping into where God has called you and operating in from, because it's not drawing from, I'm not drawing from Fred's resources. I'm drawing from the resources that come from the kingdom of God. I'm drawing from the very a well of of the spirit of God that is going to Mm -hmm. equip me and and going to empower me to do the task that he assigned me to do. So God says, so in that portion of scripture, it says God has chosen the foolish things. Hello, I've done a lot of (laughs) foolish things and God has chosen me to be a part to share the good news. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It says even the weak things, it says that it says Mm -hmm. that he's chosen the foolish things to uh, uh, of this world to put to shame the wise. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. You know Amen. what? There's been opportunities and in, in times in my walk where I was, uh, I looked at other people and it's like, wow, I don't know how I'm going to, com- how I'm going to fare up or I'm how, how I'm going to compare up. And, and a lot of times when God spoke something or gave me something, I spoke it and they were, were like, wow. They were at a, you know, at a, at a loss because it's what God is doing inside. It's not what Fred does. It's what God is doing. And God has chosen even us as, as Mm -hmm. we may think that we can't do it, but God is saying you are fully able to do it. Gideon, Mm -hmm. I I started out with Gideon. Gideon made an excuse. Mm -hmm. He says, Lord, I'm the weakest of my people. Mm -hmm. I'm the least of my tribe. Mm -hmm. I, 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 uh, why are you? But he called him and he says, you mighty man of valor. Amen. Hallelujah. We got to stop Jesus. looking how the world looks at us mm-hmm. and look how God has called us mm-hmm. and how he's chosen us. God has called you to be an overcomer. God has called you to be the head and not the tail. God has called you to be victorious mm-hmm. and he's chosen you Amen. to walk this yes, walk that, that is set before us. <laughs> and as we walk this walk with our eyes fixed on him, we will not fail because he is a light shining in our, yeah. in, to our Thank feet. You, and he's a lamp to our feet that wherever we go, we won't stumble as we stay in his mm-hmm. presence, as we walk in that anointing. Last portion of scripture, I'm going to turn it over to my wife because I know she's got something to bless us too. But it's found in uh, 1 Peter chapter 1, uh, or excuse me, 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. And I believe most of us probably know this, but I'm just going to share it anyways. But it says, but you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people that you may, that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There it is. You're that chosen generation. God has chosen you. And he says, this is what he's caused you his royal priesthood, his holy nation. Mm -hmm. And he says, my own special people. Hallelujah. You're God's special treasure here in the earth. You're God's secret weapon here in the earth to what the enemy's trying to plot against you, against your family, against your 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 whole world or realm yes. that you Hallelujah. that you operate in your God's secret weapon he's called you he's chosen you to operate now let's operate in the fullness of who he created us to be God bless you amen. hey I'm going to turn it over to my wife and then we're going to pray at the end hallelujah amen hallelujah <coughs> praise the lord i thank the lord for that we're them chosen vessels, hallelujah, vessel of honor, Amen. hallelujah, Amen. fit for the master's service, yes, hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. But the Lord put a couple of scriptures on my heart this morning, and um, um, I would pose the question, what, what's your belief system, hallelujah, mm-hmm. what is your belief system, and, and um, Mark uh, 9, verse 23 Jesus said to them, this was after the uh, the disciples could not cast out um, the demon from the child. And um, at the end of that account, Jesus said to them, if you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And in um, John eleven four, I'm just going to go there. Just going to establish... 
it says, um, 1140, sorry. Jesus said to her, do, did I not say to you that if you would believe, you would see the glory of God? Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. So we, our belief system, we have to believe the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. And I find sometime that the fear of the Lord is not on the people like it once were before. I think of when Fred was reading the scriptures, he, that God was sovereign in his own right. He, the scripture in Isaiah said there was no God before him, neither is there one coming after him. Why? Because he's the great I am. He is a sovereign Amen. in his Amen. own right. There's yeah. nothing can compare. He stands alone. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And I, so I thank the Lord for who he is, his greatness. Hallelujah. El Shaddai, the mighty one. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And so when I think about our belief system, sometimes we have to um, be steadfast in the things of God and how we think of him in this time. Hallelujah. When all things, lawlessness, unbelief, all kinds of things are being released in the earth. Hallelujah. It's our time to stay fast in him and show others who Jesus really is. Hallelujah. Amen. He's set apart from everything else. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Because of his greatness. Hallelujah. So I thank the Lord. We just have to believe in the Lord Jesus. And I want to read in Mark 11 verses 22 through 25. So Jesus answered and said to them, have faith in God. For as surely I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things he says will be done. He will have whatever he says. Hallelujah. Amen. In other words, we have to check also our mouth to see if we're talking contrary to the word of God. But when you set your heart on the things of the Lord, when you set your belief system mm -hmm. on who he is, when you come to know him intimately and having that fellowship, hallelujah, with him, you know who your God is, hallelujah. I think um, the week before um, I asked, do you know who your God is? We talked about David, how he came in the word of the Lord. He didn't mm -hmm. come with with the things, the the armor that, would be the normal way, but he came in the name of the Lord. Amen. But it continues to read in Mark eleven twenty four. It says, therefore, I say to you, whatever things you ask, when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. Amen. And it continues, it says, whatever you, when, whenever you stand praying, if you have anything against anyone, forgive him that your father in heaven may also forgive you your trespasses. And I like him when he says that. In other words, he said, when you're, when you're believing and you're asking the, these things at the same time, take care of your own business. Hallelujah. So mm -hmm. to speak. He's saying, get it all taken, bring it all before the Lord, mm -hmm. hallelujah, Amen. and get yourself in a position, in a place, hallelujah, to receive of him today, hallelujah. Amen. So I thank the Lord Amen. for that. And one of the things when we were at prayer last night, um, one of the first items on our agenda was that the U.S. Senate had passed the Respect for Marriage Act. This act, it doesn't have no revisions to protect people who disagree with certain agendas coming forth mm. in the land. Hallelujah. In other words, they would like um, to, um, the family of God that God has established, the origin of God that he's established in each individual, hallelujah, would be, so to speak, unprotected when we're challenged the norm that we, the, the family government established by the word of God, w there would be no provision to protect that. Hallelujah. But it would protect these other things. Hallelujah. And we were getting ready to pray. This is kind of a testimony. And one of the ladies, as we were praying in the spirit said, there's battles, other, pe other people from afar off and the battle is coming to each person. Hallelujah. And the Lord began to speak to me and say, uh, before she started saying that, he said, I want you to address the, this issue. He was, the Lord was beginning to tell me that as I seen it on the agenda. And so as, I as she was saying that, I told her when she got done, I said, I'm, we're going to 
The, I'm going to address that here. And you know, the Lord began to show me, he said, they might not protect you, this bill, but I will protect you. I will protect my own people, said the Lord. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And he, why? Because we're not only citizens of Michigan or citizens of the United States, but we're citizens in heaven that surpasseth all human ability or human protection. Amen. There's the blood of Jesus that sanction us. We have a legal right, hallelujah, to the things of God. And he began to say, I will protect my people, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And so we can call on the protection from heaven, hallelujah, in Jesus' name. When we stand for righteousness, when we believe the name of God, that his sovereignness, hallelujah, mm -hmm. in all that he does, hallelujah, we are going to know who we stand with, hallelujah. Amen. We have the protection of the Lord, hallelujah. Amen. So I, uh, in um, Philippians 3.20, it reads, For our citizenship is in heaven, hallelujah. Amen. From which we also eagerly wait for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So our citizen, the Lord began to tell me our citizenship is in heaven. And you know that that um, seer, that the, the lady praying began to see that the angels of God were coming and doing battle for each individual. They set up a perimeter. They begin to circle over the people of God. Hallelujah. Amen. So that's a testimony. Hallelujah. Of God's faithfulness to you. But we must believe. We have to have our belief system in the Lord Amen. Jesus Christ. And that su supernatural um, ability that God has placed over each one of us. Hallelujah. In times when there is fear and doubt, we can be assured Amen. of our place in God. Hallelujah. Amen. So I thank the Lord for that, that there, that he has come. Hallelujah. There was a word that came forth that he was um, coming and defending each of us. Hallelujah. Amen. So whenever I've, I've been praying in my own uh, personal prayer time, praying over the people that will stand for righteousness, that will stand for life, that Amen. will stand for the principles of God, hallelujah, Amen. in the land. Why? Because there, there's a divine protection. There's something that God places in us that as we stand here on the earth, remember he needed someone to cooperate with him, mm -hmm. hallelujah. Yeah. He needed Moses and, and Abraham and others to cooperate with him and said that it, he took something of it. I'm, I'm going to use um, Moses, hallelujah. As he had that his rod or his staff, he needed, God needed something for him to cooperate in the earth. Hallelujah. It's because why? That's how he set up his governing, that, that we would um, have the authority of Jesus in the earth. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And we, in cooperation with heaven, we declare the word from our mouth and allow that word to be established in the heavens. Hallelujah. In the earth. And then in the heavens, Amen. hallelujah, we're establishing the word and name of God. And it may not be what it looks like, hallelujah. God uses the good and the evil to accomplish his will in the earth, hallelujah. Amen. How many know sometimes he uses the, the bad things, hallelujah, to establish us, cause us to pray, cause us to gather ourselves unto him again and stand strong, hallelujah. It doesn't matter who's in office, who... Who come? These people come and go, but it's the kingdom of God in the earth, his ecclesia that stands firm, stands steadfast in him. Hallelujah. And he, that's what he's doing in the earth. He's establishing us. So whoever rises or falls, what the word of God and his people, his government in the earth Amen. still stands for righteousness. Hallelujah. Our belief system is in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. In the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. That this word is an eternal word. Hallelujah. To us. Hallelujah. And established as we establish it in the earth. Hallelujah. Another thing in my prayer time and is my readings. The Lord's been 
been having me read the gospels out loud, hallelujah, that those things may be established. When Jesus walked Amen. on the earth, he said he came to establish the kingdom of God in the earth, Amen. hallelujah. And as I begin to read, I establish it. Why? Because there's many voices going out, but let the word of the Lord go forth Amen. in his strength and power, supernatural ability here in the earth, hallelujah. So I thank the Lord for that. I praise the Lord for his power. Amen. His great glory. Hallelujah. Amen. So we're going to pray. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Well, Father, we do. We thank you, Father, as we Praise just uh, look to you, Father, guys. God, our eyes are focused on yes, you. Lord, Lord we yes, thank you, Father, God. for Hallelujah. that's where our help comes from, is from the Lord. So, Lord, we thank you as our eyes continue to be fixed on you. Father, we trust and stand on your yes, word today, Jesus. Father yes, God, Lord. as Hallelujah. your word has gone forth, Praise Father, through Jesus. scripture, Hallelujah. Father, and through testimony, Lord. So, Lord, we just honor you today. As we continue to <coughs> advance the kingdom of God, Lord, we thank you that, Father, that no weapon formed against us shall prosper, and every tongue that rises in judgment shall be condemned, because this is our inheritance in, the, in you, Lord. So, Father, we just thank you today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father. I thank you, Father, Lord, for those, hallelujah, that are waiting for miracles that are waiting for deliverances, healing, salvations in their family. Mm -hmm. Father, we, you said that the word of God will run swiftly. We release yes. the word of the Lord, mm -hmm. hallelujah, into the earth, Father, mm -hmm. hallelujah, into the people yes. that need your help, need your provision. Father, we stand affirm and believe your word today in yes. Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Many scientists, hallelujah, many breakthroughs of many things mm -hmm. can come forth. But God, you stand as creator God, hallelujah, yes. over the bodies, mm -hmm. over the beings of each one that needs help today. Hallelujah. You said to David, you would not leave his soul in Sheol or the places of death, but you would bring them mm -hmm. out, hallelujah, into a place that they could stand and see Hallelujah, the salvation of the Lord. So, Amen. Father, today in the name of Jesus, I rebuke every sickness, every infirmity, every unclean thing yes. coming against the bodies of those that are listening. Father, Amen. I speak the blood of Jesus over Amen. them. You said by your stripes we are healed. You paid the price that we may be free today. And I speak the freedom of the Lord Jesus Christ over mm -hmm. each one. Amen. I pray for full restoration, restoration of the cells. Some need creative miracles. We pray yes. for the creative miracles to come forth in mm -hmm. Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Father, we know you can still astound the doctors. You can still um, bring... Um, um, bring that that um supernatural ability to even mere man's yes. wisdom so father today we release the power and authority father that you paid for that you sanctioned for each one to partake mm -hmm. of in Jesus' name, hallelujah. hallelujah. And we thank you, Father, for the blood, that legal covenant we have with you, hallelujah. Yes. And so I say bodies, hallelujah, align with the word of the Lord, align in the provision of the healing power of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I pray the systems of the body will align to the Lord Jesus Christ in what you've created, Father, in the beginning for us to function. Every system, every Lord. organ, function in the ability that God gave it to when he first declared and spoke it into existence. That very breath of the living God breathing in our lungs yes. causes life and brings life and the blood brings life. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So Father, we speak the life over the people. I rebuke death. I rebuke sickness in Jesus mighty name. Hallelujah. Amen. And we call them free in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. And may the Lord make his face shine upon Hallelujah. you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Hallelujah. So that he, his name is upon his children and they are blessed. Hallelujah. Amen. Hey, Hallelujah. have a blessed rest of your week. We look forward to seeing you <laughs> on Sunday. Thank you, Jesus. Be encouraged, be empowered, and be equipped with the word of God.
<laughs> Have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.